Welcome to the setup guide for the Palette 2 and the Creality CR10. At the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to printing with your Palette 2. Some things you're going to need first are the Medium Outgoing Tube, the Creality CR10, and the Palette 2. The guide tube has two different ends, the funnel end and the tapered end. The funnel end, as seen here, has more of a square shape and goes into the outgoing of the Palette 2 like so. The tapered end has more of a pointed edge. It goes into the extruder clip on top of the extruder. You can find the STLs for the extruder clip in the description. If you're using a special extruder setup like the Bontech extruder shown here, you'll be using a different extruder clip than previously shown. You can find the downloadable STLs in the description. Palette 2 can be placed horizontally, mounted, or on a stand. We use a stand in this setup to allow the tube to move freely. That's all for this video. We discussed which outgoing tube and extruder clip to use and how to position Palette 2 next to your printer. Next, we recommend watching this video on how to get started in Canvas, the software we recommend to prepare print files for palette printing, and then watching this second video on how to start a print with your Palette 2. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com.